Hey friends, welcome back. It's Lady Cinnamon and as you can see, I am doing a lot of baking for this holiday season and I'm super excited today. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. I just want to welcome you and I appreciate you for stopping by and thank you for my subscribers. So guys, we stepped out, me and the hubby, to get a couple of items that we needed for continuing our baking as soon as we got in. Of course, we got warm and cozy with some great coffee. Really, really have the best flavors this time of year. And and I also set up some charcuterie for the family that's visiting for the holiday season. And guys, this video is in collaboration with my sisters, the Daughters of Destiny, an amazing group of women that I'm so honored to be a part of. We have Gigi Faison, Loving Home Decor, also Shawnee from Shawnee on the Spot, Debbie Bubbles, and myself, of course, Lady Cinnamon. And guys, they are such great content creators. I will leave their links to their channels in the description bar below, along with the playlist for all of the other participants that will be participating in this annual collaboration for Baby It's Cold Outside. So guys, for myself, for this time of year, I love baking and making comfort food. And so that's what I'm going to be featuring in this video collaboration for Baby It's Cold Outside, our annual collaboration. So as you can see, I have some chicken breast on I'm gonna be simmering those down with some spices in there I have cracked black pepper also some sea salt and um, actually adobo and in here I have some garlic powder and onion powder I'm gonna let that cook down and in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and just slightly saute up some veggies it's just going to be some onions and also some peppers this is optional you don't have to use that and I'm adding a little bit of extra um, sofrito I love picking this up it's the Italian style sofrito from Trader Joe's and it really brings up those levels of flavors when you're cooking so I'm just going to put those in a pan and let some of the aromatics get into the oil before I add in all of my little veggies that I'm going to be sautéing up. And that's what we're going to do with this. You don't want to cook them to their caramelized. You just want to get them to their translucent. And once you get these cooked to their translucent, you just want to transfer those to a bowl and we'll be moving on to the next step. So guys, you do want to get some mixed vegetables. A lot of people don't like green peas, so you can probably pick some up. And you just want to get the kind that you can steam, pop them in, pop them out, and five minutes later. And I'm going to be using bell seasoning, but if you can't find this, um, you can actually pick up a little bit of dry sage in time and use about a quarter of a teaspoon. Or for the bells, I used about a half a teaspoon. So you're just going to mix those steamed vegetables together. I love all of the mixed vegetables. I like the green peas also. And I've now drained out the chicken stock from my chicken and just did a rough um, shredding of it. doesn't have to be neat. It's just going to be mixed together. Now here's the, gr the good part. You're going to just take some cream of chicken soup from Campbell's. I'm doing meal prep, so I'm going to be using a lot. So I used two cans of this. And you just want to use just enough to get it to a consistency where you know that once you cook it down it will not be dry but you can always reserve some of that chicken stock to add to it if you need to make it a little bit more moist as you can see this is a consistency that you would want now guys I did not use a big pie pan but instead I'm going with ramekins you guys know I love meal prepping and this way I don't have to worry about maybe cooking for a day or so which is perfect this time of year everyone's so busy so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be rolling out some um, pie dough. You can buy this in any grocer. They'll be frozen. You can just one throw them to room temperature, roll them out, and it's so time saving. And yeah, because I don't know how to make crust from scratch. All I'm going to do is use the bottom of my ramekin to basically measure. And I'm going to be using this as a pie crust for the base. If you want or you're one of those people that likes a lot of pie crust like my family does, you can always use some of the leftover pie crust and line the sides. Very simple, easy procedure and yeah, it's just it, it just really makes it even more of a delicious meal. I actually like a lot of crust also. It's so good. <laughs> And yeah, that's what you can do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat this process, but for the top, I'm going to actually be using crust on the top also. I'm just going to take the same ramekin and I'm going to flip it upside down and I'm going to use that as a measurement for my top crust for my little chicken pot pies. 
So next I'm going to do is put these in the oven to blind bake them. But guys, always remember to either score it or put little forks into it, like little pricks in it, the dough. Because if you don't do this when you blind bake these, then it will sort of bubble up and you really want it to be flat for when you add your other ingredients. So now that they're blind baked for about five minutes, that's all it took. I'm ready to fill these and guys, if you can smell it, it's not even in the oven yet and it already smells amazing. Now how much you use or add is up to you. I'm going to be making these pretty hearty. So yeah, I'm going to be using a lot. <laughs> but you can probably use half this recipe and that way it won't be as much. So now I'm just going to be adding on the top crust. Very simple and easy. But I will get me some, um, I'm going to prepare a little bit of egg wash. I love adding this to any of the baking that I do. And it'll be great for baking. All you want to do is just brush a thin layer on top. And make sure that you once again score that top crust. And then it's all ready for the oven. So guys, they're all done. As you can see, they're bubbling and hot. They smell so amazing. And I wish that you guys were here to smell and taste it. This is one of my hubby's favorite recipes for this time of year. As soon as it starts getting cold, I'm like, okay, I'm going to definitely make him or the family one of these. And they're so delicious. So I hope you guys try this out. You can see how this is so moist and it's just so delicious. Everything's cooked down so beautifully. I absolutely love it. So guys, I hope you like this video also. Please don't forget to check out my co-hosts. I will leave their channel links in the description bar below. And make sure that you tell them that I sent you and show them some love. And please don't forget to actually check out the playlist for all of the other participants. I appreciate you guys for coming over. And if you're here just watching, I thank you for supporting each and every one of us on this annual collaboration. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the bell twice so you're notified whenever I upload another video. I'm going to be coming back with a lot more cooking videos and baking videos for the season. I am so excited for the season and I'll see you all in the next video and thank you all for watching.